Let's grab a seat and make sure we're running okay. Yeah, should be live. Nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Today is March 21st. Happy Easter. Happy not Easter. Happy spring. <laughs> Happy solstice, I guess. Or equinox. Is solstice or equinox? Either way. Uh, happy March 21st. Hello, Spider Man. How are you doing? I'm just going to pop out the chat here. And uh, and today we're doing a live stream, open discussion. Well, not open discussion, but open discussion, but math drop-in tutoring session, okay? And uh, we've done a few of these. And basically we're doing high school mathematics. Uh, almost anything goes except hardcore statistics and uh, permutate, um, calculus, okay? Zimmy002, how are you doing? Catholic traditionalists, how are you doing? How are you doing? Welcome to another live stream and mathematics. I've actually had a couple of people, actually more than a couple of people, ask for this math stream, uh, which is fantastic, right? Mask of Raven, how are you doing? How's life? Welcome, welcome. I've been looking forward to the math stream. Good break from. Uh, uh, well, a good follow from the 10 by 10 math puzzle and a good break from the more uh, the things that have occupied people's minds in the last little while, the little while last few days. VC Pavio. Pa VC, how are you doing? How's life? Hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. Yo, yo, yo. Entro qui. Entro qui. How are you doing? Hope you guys are doing well. West coast of Canada, sunny. Very nice. Very nice. It's uh, interesting times we live in. Uh, always, always. Great. Just been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. Oh, dude, Spider-Man. I saw lineups in Toronto for people lined up yesterday to try to get their, uh, get a copy of uh, Animal Crossing. Like there was a line up out the door going around the corner. Some people were abiding by the social distancing of three meters, uh, at least one to three meters or something. Some people bunched up together. It is what it is, right? Always be making. How are you doing? James David Sutton. Welcome, welcome. Hope all is well. Doing good. We did a little uh, food run yesterday. Got ourselves some more eggs, some cabbage, uh, some onions, some veggies, basically. Veggies is the food that doesn't last as long, except with cabbage, onions, potatoes, but some greens. We got some greens and stuff. Are you familiar with discrete response systems? Oof, uh, circus stuff. No, I'm not, unfortunately. Entropy, I'm not. I don't think so. Like, I might know... Uh, if it's not calculus written, if it's a linear algebra, I need to review my linear algebra. Um, I know, I used to know it very well, right? I taught it to myself and I knew it really well with determinants of matrix and stuff. That's what it sounds like, um, discrete response systems. And if there is demand for it, I'll review it, but I've forgotten how to do multi, uh, multi-variable equations to solve them and stuff. Uh, because I've been focusing on high school mathematics, right? Wow, that's insane. I just got it digitally. Yeah, no point in going out to get it if you have internet. I do understand people love physical copies, though. Yeah, all of the uh, pandemic streams, all of these pandemic streams. Must do, must do, right? Must do, must do. And as before, if there's any math questions, please post away. Uh, we'll deal with the mathematics. But it is an open discussion. We can talk about you know almost anything, but uh, preferably we keep the politics and uh, politics anyway to politics streams. Laplace transforms. Oh, dude, I used to know Laplace transforms. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I would have to review it. I used to. I got my minor in math, right? So, uh, you know, I did all that stuff, but. I haven't done it for so long, so long, right? I have, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. Hurt. 
hurt. I'm in the middle of that right now. Mask of Raven, is that what you're doing right now? Laplace transforms. Eight hours a day, uh, revisions just for levels to be canceled. Oh, with teachers predicting me, B's meaning I'm getting rejected by my, oh, dude, really? Tachiha, it done Tachiha. Yeah, I, I got a feeling I had like, some people are getting burned because of all this all these cancellations with school systems and stuff like this right so hopefully the system will sort itself out but keep in mind uh, it's not important to go through things rapidly enjoy the process right so some people are going to get burned there's no doubt about it but take it with a grain of salt take it you know what they tell you uh don't panic through it and don't don't put the blame on you know later on if things are a little hiccupy don't just get stuck in that loop saying it was this it was this because it happened and stuff like this just roll with the punches really that's what i'm really trying to say right uh, as long no matter how bad things get as long as you're doing the best with the situation you're in it will improve right so if you keep on optimizing doing the best with what you got at some point it's going to be exactly what you want or what you need right my degree is in physics laplace transforms make me sick <laughs> always be me <laughs> okay now i gotta look this up again i forget what it what it uh, refers to i think it's yeah dude i can't even say uh it's got to be some kind of uh filter system uh taking from one i can't remember function and what do you call it on top of another function no autistic how are you doing hey man just just dropping in this is actually the first time i've managed to catch you live originally found you on youtube thank you for popping by thank you for popping by i've been very active on twitch and loving it here by the way um and mainly focusing on doing the live streams and loading them on youtube and uh, bit shoot and stuff and trying to shoot some videos in the background and edited videos and load those up um, one of the reasons just to let you know is well no we won't get into that we took this year as well we took it this year as well for the press transform welcome we're glad to have you for sure finema bob bob how are you doing welcome welcome i'm turning 20 this year i feel like i'm losing time no that's what the system is trying to make you feel don't feel that way really oh that's the plast trap from right there uh, the function is equal to the integral of the function to the times e to the power oh man <laughs> that's like bringing back nightmares <laughs> but uh uh tachila Techiha, do not be in a rush to go through life that's what the system is has embedded in you break that time-based education that you you've been implanted with okay that's a control mechanism enjoy the process enjoy the learning there's nobody nobody chasing you right that you have to get this done by then this but if you set those time frames for yourself fine and dandy but be flexible more have a longer time span in mind than the shorter ones the shorter ones are okay you adjust accordingly right but try to figure out where you want to be right who you want to be how you want to interact with the world and everything else will fall into place right just make the best of what you got right as this situation develops they may uh, reverse that decision yeah I agree like things are not gonna play out the way a lot of people think dice power how are you doing it's a shift from the time domain to the frequency domain not a bad way of saying it oh that's Laplace transform from time to frequency that's what it is isn't it from time to frequency. I gotta look this up now Laplace transform that oh man that rings a bell big time in mathematics the Laplace transform is an integral transform named after its inventor uh, Pierre Simon Laplace it transforms a function 
of a real variable t to a function of a complex variable s. The transform has many applications in science and engineering. The transform is similar to the Fourier transform, yeah, which is linked up to the Fourier transform. And Fourier transform, uh, I dealt with a lot more than the Laplace transform. If I remember, yeah, for sure I did, right? But that dice power, what you said also applies to, uh, I forget who it was that feels like in a rush. I'm gonna do my best to make some lemonade out of these lemons. Yeah, minimum values of, minimum values of nine, da, 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 da. minimum values of that, that. Let me write this down. I don't know if we can do that without doing calculus, mask of room, but I'm gonna write it down. Um, I'm just gonna catch up with co uh, chat close to the power four, four uh, X, that's the way we're gonna write it. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, minus 12 uh, cos squared, that's gotta be cos squared, X plus seven, plus seven. Okay, let me write this down. I mean, first thing I would do is just take the, uh, what do you call it, uh, factor it, right? Set it equal to zero, but that's gonna give you the X intercepts. Um, the minimum values, if we took the derivative of it, and then we would find uh, where the slope was zero, and then we set it equal to zero. So if this is a function, right? If I remember my calculus, you take the derivative of this, right? The derivative is basically the slope of this function, and wherever this guy is going doop, doop, like this, the slope here would be zero, so you find those points, right? So you set the derivative of this equal to zero, but is there a way to do it without calculus? Is there a way to do it without calculus? We can graph it. I think I should be able to graph it. Uh, it's all perspective. I do anything to go back to when I was 20 and I'm only 26. I would not, Spider-Man, I would not go back to when I was 20. I wasn't. The, what I know now took a lifetime to learn so far. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't go back to when I was 20. Uh, Laplace transforms takes a function of discrete variables t to a complex variable function. Make the best of it. Enjoy the ride. Learn math. Love your hobbies. But that's it. Gina, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. The flash transforms are very useful in analyzing circuits with time-dependent elements like capacitors and, and uh, inductors. Cool. I didn't use the flash transforms very much. I use more Fourier transforms, and I would have to look up where Fourier transforms, where we use them, how it applied to us. Uh, because I didn't deal with circuitry too much. I dealt with electromagnetic and magnetic methods a lot. Right? Hello there. I don't have time uh, time to stay, but I wish you all a good day wherever you are. Stay safe, uh, stay safe, I guess, and healthy, and enjoy some math, of course. Of course. Thank you very much for dropping by, Andy, and giving us uh, wild wishes. Dice power applies to Fourier transforms also. I think the Fourier transform is just the real part of the Laplace transform or something like that. Cool. You can. Okay, you can. Do it without calculus. Okay, we try. Much love. You too. Awesome, Bob. Hello, all. Same here. When I was 20, I did a lot of stupid things and wasted my time. Yeah. But learn from the lessons, hopefully, right? Hello, Chicho. Oh, welcome, Papa. We're on a tiny little planet in the vastness of a near infinite span. Time really has no meaning. Agreed, agreed, Gina. Yeah, that's a good point. I am still young, so I bet when I am older and wiser, I will not think that would. No. No. Hope you're making the best of self quarantine. Um, Michigan up to 550 cases now. 554 if you count the deaths. Oh. Coolio, how are you doing? You can recommend, uh, can you recommend books on anything to learn how to do basic proofs? Uh, I could never understand them uh, at uh, freshman level math. A uh, Tommy T, honest, I had a hard time with proofs as well. I memorized proofs. I didn't uh, try to drive them, um, except for, uh, you know, minor ones, right? Like the quadratic formula, I could drive it, right? Uh, I could do some proofs regarding just geometry and stuff like this. But when we get into, when we, when I was studying math minus, when we got into hardcore proofs, I really had a hard time 
bringing it all together i remember one proof we had to do for geophysics where it took three pages like three eight and a half by 11 pages and i memorized the whole thing i because i didn't understand all the functions we were bringing in so i never really got a good handle on proofs myself either and there was never a book that anybody recommended or any books that i was given that even came remotely close to giving me a better understanding of how to do proofs i need help solving for systems for math okay money man oh money man how you doing you were asking about the math stream what's the question you have regarding systems because i'm pretty sure we can do that faster than we can do this one uh distracting myself with weed wine brunch and chicho streams awesome coolio listen it sounds like a good saturday right i'm 18 now and trying my hardest to not waste it but i'm worried that i'm trying to ha too hard and uh i'll miss the good stuff uh bob living is not wasting time really like some people like wasting time what's wasting time getting wasted every day drunk out of your mind every day for a number of years that's not good you're to a degree wasting your time right and ill health uh, but you're 18 you are just start to accumulate information really hopefully you're out of high school you're out of jail so you're experiencing life with free free quotation marks open eyes you're not wasting time you're sampling sample to your heart's content make sure whatever you're sampling doesn't take you out of the game but for sure make sure you keep your eyes on the prize and whatever you're sampling make sure you're ac accumulating the power you need to be able to process all this information that is coming your way and to use it to your advantage that means two of the main things you have to learn is mathematics and your natural language know how to communicate because that's about communicating information okay so don't worry about too much about wasting your time just make sure you're taking care of business right if you're taking care of business you can sample whatever you want people, other people might say you're wasting time some people might say that's the best way to spend your time here's a fun one prove the world is round mathematically to educate any flat earthers passing through we could do that at some point all right it's just the i mean just look at the curvature look at a ship coming across right you see their top come in and then get bigger and bigger that's as simple as it gets right as someone who teaches seniors now it's really hard try to just live in the moment try to just live in the moment how to prove it by daniels i was looking at uh, graduate level statistics and it looks like nightmare it's all crazy proof uh graduate level statistics yeah there, there would be a lot of proofs like i didn't reach that level i went to like third year stats right um i was more interested in the applying the statistics into the real world processing the data not coming up with the proofs right book of proofs by your oh that's a book recommendation awesome uh book of proof by richard hammond oh richard hammond richard hammond is amazing hold on i just gotta find this face uh there's a lecture series i've been watching of richard richard hammond and i've linked it up before does he have a book on proofs hold on this is a different richard hammond hammond is hammond not hammock hammond it must be hammond wait a second hammond i think he wrote down hammock hammock is it it must be hammond no it's not oh god who's this guy <laughs> math hold on book of proofs book of proofs oh maybe this is a different person i'm thinking of hammock book of proofs for richard hammock oh no i don't know this person i don't think sorry gang it's just uh no no i think this is a different person okay oh i don't know this book this book sounds cool hammock 
not Hammock. Okay, Hammock. Yeah, I looked it up. It's a different person I was thinking of. Thank you for the book recommendation, by the way. With substitution, but use whatever numbers. Hey, Chicho. Uh, Money Man, did you post the... I don't have an exact equation. Sure, we could do that. With substitution? Okay. Let me do one for you with substitution, and then we'll deal with the trig, uh, finding the minimum of this. A lot of night... Uh, night school and the canadian edition system really didn't work for me so i feel like i know nothing Bob. not to mention if you can solve the problem will be the best uh, generation to leave the new world just my opinion oh hold on i think despite the number of problems that the current generation is dealing with i feel like the younger people will come out as the most well-informed generation if we work there coolio i have no doubt the younger generation the people have been teaching their processing speed is insane okay insane okay so <laughs> they're they're much wiser than when we were kids when i was a kid just letting you know man okay why is it canadian edition system da, 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 da. i'm finally f uh, falling in love with math learning in my own way the chicho discord has helped me a lot okay awesome bob awesome Ch -ch -ch. Uh, Ch -ch -ch. multiplying tr uh, trinomials multiplying trinomials pain in the ass i wish we'll do one i'm not sure i wish i knew if i was allowed to share some of my online text for my classes mask of raven for sure you can post it on our discord page uh, mask of raven if you have post it on our discord page for sure your daily dose of cyanide what's 1000 minus 500 580 that's going to be 420 that's april 20th isn't it <laughs> they don't tell you that centralized education is meaningless unless students learn what learning uh, learning method works best for them schools tend to use the approach of what style works best for most people yeah just your desire to learn puts you far ahead of the rest yeah and the box gets smaller and smaller in the centralized education system right so if you don't fit into the box oh, focus 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 don't fit into the box you're considered to be this right learning something they give you a tag on that right <laughs> i consider that being your processing speed is much faster than the box allows right you're short circuiting the, the system so the system saying oh purge 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 i don't know if that that is that is true centralized education use the approach of what style is best for corporate interest not what is best for most people um what is what is best for the system that's what the centralized education system does right and the system is run by corporations and centralized institutions so that's what they allow which is we're seeing it collapsing right now right baku bakul dat school prices are inflated only practical might uh practicals might require campus support rest can be done online yeah. in other words the free market determines our job. definitely not free as you put it in quotation marks i don't know how you're doing okay system of equations using substitution you said right substitution who said it? uh money 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 uh i don't have exact equations substitution let's do a substitution problem okay let me give you an equation we're going to keep this one up here okay let's do a substitution here we'll draw a little breaker so we'll we'll do uh, a quadratic and a linear okay so I'm, I'm gonna let the chat do its thing gang if there's anything that comes up that's directed towards me after we do this example post it again when I'm reading the chat and we'll do uh, this one we'll definitely gonna take a look at but let's do solving a system of equations uh, two equate we could do three as well uh, but let's do two equations using substitution right so let's assume we have one function which is a line which is 2x minus 4 and let's assume our second equation is f of x is a is a quadratic right let's assume our quadratic is um, x squared plus 5x uh, do we want five no let's make it bigger 
da, 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 uh, 56, right? So 15x uh, minus 56, plus 56, uh, plus, 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 minus, 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 plus, dear, 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 no, 56 is too high. Let's do this. Hold on, let's reduce this. That way I can graph it properly, right? Because I want to graph these as well. Okay, uh, so let's call this uh, minus 10x minus plus 24. Okay, so we want to solve the system of equations. So what we want to do right now, what's up, Jijo? Fat boy, fat, how are you doing? <laughs> the short, the short chat, right? So what we want to do is find out when they say solve the system of equations and we've got a quadratic and a linear. Sometimes it could be, usually they introduce this to you with both of them being linear. And we do have, by the way, uh, here, let me show you this one. Uh, Chicho, uh, study. We do have videos out there where there's one of them here. I'll show you this one. If you look at this video, this one we talk about, I go through how, you know, what's required to solve a system of equations using two variables as well as using, uh, sorry, a linear system uh, of two equations and a linear system basically of three variables, right? So you need three equations and talk about the pattern. So this one is a pretty good video okay that runs you through how you end up doing this but we never i don't think we did one that's a quadratic and then linear so if you're going to graph this first of all you do this here we're going to make a general graph very simplified version of the graph right so what you would do is graph this guy so this is a linear equation y intercept is negative four slope is two right so one two three four and the slope is two so you go two up one over so that's equation number one right that's why you number them. And whenever you're doing these things, number your equations, right? When you're graphing them. And always try to graph them because that gives you a better idea of if you're close to getting the equation or you're not, right? This one, the simplest way to graph this, you could use the completing the square to graph this. And we've talked about this. We have videos. If you go Chicho completing the square, here, completing the square, completing the square you'll find at least two three videos of four or five videos of us doing these right when you're trying to graph a quadratic function but there's a simple way to graph it you just graph it based on its x-intercepts right so first thing you can do is factor this thing two numbers that give you 24 I have to give you negative 10 x minus 6 x minus 4 right add them together you get negative 10 multiply them together you get positive 24 right and then what you can do is set f of x equal to zero so solve for this solve for this when this is equal to zero when you're setting f of x equal to zero you're setting the function equal to zero that means you're setting y equal to zero because this is the y-axis is really your y right so people have a hard time really appreciating what this means you can set the function equal to anything and solve for it and you're basically finding, trying to find out what x is when y is whatever you set it equal to be, right? Um, so, <laughs> Jeff, how are you doing? Hopefully this will help you appreciate math a little more, right? And then the power of zero, and we do have videos on that. Type in Chicho, the power of zero. You'll find how we're doing this. If you have two things multiplied together to give you zero, two or more, you can set each one equal to zero, right? So you just go x minus 6 equal to 0, x minus 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 6, x is equal to 4. Those are your x-intercepts, right? So 1, 2, 3, I should find out where the y intercept, where the x-intercept is here, right? The x-intercept here is 2, right? Let's go for equation 1, right? If you want to find out where it crosses the x-axis, you set y is equal to 0, right? So 0 is equal to 2x minus 4. Bring the 4 over. 4 is equal to 2x. Divide by 2. So x is equal to 2. So 
my graphs not to scale, right? So I'm going to erase this. So this is one, this is two, this is three. Let's extend this a little bit further. So we have the right graph approximately anyway. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's where this function crosses the x axis and our parabola our quadratic function crosses the x axis at 4 and 6 so 1 2 3 4 and 6 right so let's extend this guy right we're going to go into our calculations right and we're going to put equation 1 down here so we know this is equation 1 or the graph of function 1 right so those are x intercepts that's a parabola we know that opens up right and we know the vertex is going to be right in the middle so take the average of six and four you get five right so we know the graph goes like this right we just want to find out how far down it goes before it turns up again right so what we could do is just plug in five for x and find out what y is right and it should pop us here somewhere what I could do is pop it here. F of five is equal to five minus six times five minus four. Five minus six is negative one. Five minus four is one, so that's negative one. So when X is five, Y is negative one. X is five, Y is negative one. So the graph goes like this, right? Let's go through it, right? Let's go through this too, okay? Because right. we've already gone through it, we've done the calculations for ourselves. We just want to graph it to get a better idea of what's going on. So our solutions, when we're trying to solve the system equation, our solution is, where does this, that's what it's asking you, when does this equal this? So we're trying to find out when they cross, like this, right? We're trying to find these two points, this point and this point. Okay, how do we do this using substitution? All you gotta do is just set the first function equal to the second function. Because at this point, this x is gonna be this the same as this x. And at this point, this y is gonna be the same as that y. I'm just gonna call this f of x, right? At this point, this x is gonna be the same as that x. And at this point, this y is gonna be the same as that y, right? I know it looks scribbly, because you would have more room to play around with. I'm trying to give the background as to what it is that you're doing when you're solving a system of equations. You're trying to find out if the two functions cross. When does one equal the other? Do they intersect? Are they parallel? Do they have no solutions? Are they the same thing? Do they have an infinite number of solutions, right? So all we do to solve the system, what we can do is just go, oh, let, f of x1 equal f of 2x. All you do, you set this equal to this. Okay. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So in terms of substitution, I'm doing a, a substitution, which is, it's weird to call the substitution because you're setting them equal to each other, but it is substitution to a certain degree. It's defined as substitution. We'll do a different version of substitution uh, in the next question, right? I'll, a quicker one, right? So what you can do is here say, let this equal to this, because this y at this point is going to be equal to this y, which means at this point, this y is this y, this must equal to this, right? So that's what we're going to do. What's up? Saful Brjapatang, what's up? Right. So I'm going to make some room for us here. Let me erase these guys. Right. I'm going to kill all of this. I'm going to redraw it. Right. Okay. We had minus four. We had plus da -da -da, minus minus 10x plus 24. Right. And this guy goes like this. 
and this guy goes like this and they hit here right this is 10x so all you got to do is set this equal to this which means you're going to set 2x minus 4 equal to x squared minus 10x plus 24. so all you need to do now is solve for x right so what we're going to do is grab these two guys bring them over so this becomes minus 2x and that becomes plus 4. so this guy becomes if you write it x squared minus 12x plus 26 is equal to 0. okay now you gotta solve this guy two numbers are multiplied to give you 24 i have to give you negative 12. i can't think of anything top of my head right things that multiply to give you 26 or 2 and 13 but i can't combine 2 and 13 in any way to give me negative 12 right so what we need to do is use the quadratic formula quadratic formula x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a which is x is equal to negative b so negative negative 12 is 12 12 plus or minus square root of negative b squared or b squared which is negative 12 squared which is 12 squared is uh, 144 i like this formula yeah nice formula 144 minus 4 times a times c 4 times a is 1 times c is 26 all over 2a 2 times 1 so what does this become anybody want to punch this in see what we get here we'll do it here too 4 times 26 4 times 25 is 100 4 times 2 is 8 so that's 108 144 minus 108 144 minus 108 i hope i got that right uh 104 not 108 oof, oof, oof. almost made a big mistake i'm gonna do mental math if i make any mistakes let me know okay 104 right is that true oh i gotta do it i always second guess myself four two yeah 104 right so we got 104 and then we're going to subtract this we get 40 right so inside here is going to be 12 plus or minus square root of 40 over 2 right now square root of 40 if you do uh what do you call it oh thanks max of mask of raven or not mask of raven bit monkey is in the 28 not 26 did i mess it up it is 28 Oof. thank you croatian croatian bruce lee comes to the rescue 28 28 right so it's going to be 112 Boop. right is that correct let's bring it back let's bring it back right so 28 thank you 28 times 4 4 times 25 is 100 there's 3 left 3 times 4 is 12 so 112 right 100 and, oops 112 subtracted to 3 so it's 32 eagle's eyes eagle's eyes 32 so we got 32 right what's the square root of 32 this is your factor tree right and we've done a lot of videos with this reducing radicals so let me erase this make some room for us right 4 root 2 yeah it's 4 root 2 does everyone know how to do this not only heroes when it games square root of 32 32 is 4 times 8 2 2 2 2 2 square root you're looking for a pair you can bring them out singles so two twos come out as a two two twos come out as a two there's a two left over two times two on the outside which is four right so you get 12 plus or minus four root two over two and you can simplify this because two goes both in, into both of them will the examination of cambridge postpone for later due to coronavirus i don't know most likely i'm assuming everything is going to shut down spin analysis i've done math like this it's starting to come back nice i'm going through a speedy gonzalez by the way right i'm all energized for some reason all excited a lot of things going on right uh, i'll study math next year nice 
operation yeah if if you caught this mistake good on you man you're way ahead of the game right hey chicho how's life hello felix how are you doing do you have more exercises you show i'm gonna start loading on exercises i'll after we do this i'll mention what's going on in the background with school being closed and my students right uh because they've been asking i'll mention them now they've been asking me to uh because most people realize that they still need to learn the stuff right they're not just on vacation <laughs> go do whatever you want it's not a good idea to step away from mathematics or your education for a number of months and then try to come back and learn the stuff because in the future you need these things so the ones that are keen the ones that see the grand picture right uh have been asking me to start providing them with exercises and stuff so they can continue learning so i'm going to start creating exercises for some of my students and i'm going to start sharing those exercises on our discord page and our patreon page for sure oh yeah by the way i'll do a little intro to this um, if you guys want to know where i am who i am how you can support this work where i'm going to post a lot of content and stuff like this we do have a patreon page okay that's my patreon page uh and for those watching this on another platform we're live streaming this on twitch i'm going to be doing this on a regular basis right uh to help people learn mathematics because if everybody understood mathematics the world would be a much much better place to live in right and we're announcing this on twitter these streams on twitter and stuff like this and on different platforms that are listed in the description of this video right including gab mines vk and elo okay because decentralization is the name of the game right so let me take these down and get back to business of mathematics okay so what do we got so far we got this guy we want to reduce this fraction 12 plus or minus 4 root 2 over 2 2 goes into both of these so this becomes x is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 root 2 those are our x's here okay so this x we just figured out what this point is that's 6 and six why is it six should be five do, 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 do. or maybe not one two three four five it should be five i might have made a boo-boo somewhere okay do some stuff experiments take a math exam with and without coffee a day apart ba, 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 ba. right but anyway for now we got six plus two root um this one's going to be going backwards Oh, no 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 it's the uh, wait a second this should be the minus one two root two and for this one it's going to be uh where are we gonna put this let's put this here for this one is going to be six plus two root two and then we have to find the y associated with this and all you do you punch this number into your calculator and plug it into here and figure out what the y is associated with each one of these x's okay the math and coffee study we could do it right now we could go two root two so i'm just going to punch it in and get our y value okay uh two square root where's my square root symbol where's my square root symbol hey mm. what's going on I want trigonometry I want two okay I'm going to take a two to the power of 0.5 because I can't find my square root symbol is 1.41 times two Boop. and then subtract six which is going to be three uh 3.17 so our x values are 3.17 and uh, let's go plus six plus six and then plus six again to kick it up to the other one which is 8.82 8.82 so these are the numbers you plug in here to find your y so over here find your f of 3.17 right so for this guy find f of 
3.17. You're going to go 2 times 3.17 minus 4. Here, we'll do. Clear, 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 clear. Uh, 3.17 times 2. Exactly. That's all one fixed decap. 6.34 minus 4, which is 2.4. So the y value here is 2.34, okay. which makes sense, sort of, if we drew it like this, not to scale, not to scale, right? So this point, the solution for this system is 6 minus 2 root 2, and that's just a number, comma, 2.34, which is a point on the graph where they cross, okay? Let's do a simpler one that doesn't take up so much space, and then you would do it for this one as well find what this value is as well which we could do uh what's the other number 8.82 so let's do that one too might as well finish off this guy right uh, two times 8.82 82 is equal to that minus four which is 13.64 so the y value here would be this guy here is 13.64 right that's where it hits here I hope uh, that wasn't too fast, and I might have made a mistake more than one, right? But that's the general gist of it. If you want to do a quick version of a solving, let's say, a system of linear equations instead of a quadratic and a linear, here, let me do one really speedy Gonzalez, and then we're going to hit up this guy. I think it's time to give this guy a wash. Can you summarize once? Oops, late. Oh, I didn't summarize. I killed it. Sorry, Bitmonkey. I killed it. But I can summarize here again the process anyway. And don't forget, there's here uh, Bitmonkey. Check out this video, and in this video, I it's part of the how to steady playlist, right? And I basically call this one uh, recognize the pattern of how to solve an equation, right? So it has uh, three equations with three variables and two equations with two variables. Let's just do two linear equations with two variables right now. What if you had the following equations? Um, y is equal to 3x minus 4 and the other one would be 2x minus uh, 4y is equal to 5 right let's assume if you wanted to find out if these two systems had a solution and what these two systems are they're both linear equations okay without any sports to watch is everyone keeping up with their racing? <laughs> i saw that video actually always making uh, always be making the marvel race one that was super cool when a parabola is 3D space, is cut by a place, how hard is it to solve? Plane. When a when a parabola in 3D plane is cut by a plane, no, in 3D space is cut by a plane, parabola, so it's a cone, it's not a parabola. Parabola in a 3D plane is cut by, 3D space is cut by a plane. Uh, how hard is it to solve? Um, it would just be substitution elimination, I'm assuming, right? Conic sections, conics, right? It's just, so conics is this, by the way. If you have, here, just take a parabola, just do, let's do 2D, right? If you cut a parabola um, like this, horizontally, you would get a circle. If it was in 3D, you would get a circle. If you cut a parabola like this, you would get an ellipse, okay, um, or cone. Let's call it a cone here. Let's do cone. Why well, do it parabola? Here's, here's a cone, right? Uh, here, let's do a cone, a conex, all right? That's supposed to be 3D, okay? <laughs> yes, cone. Uh, I forgot the name. Yeah, a cone. So if you have a cone, right? If you cut it, here, let's do a different pen so it's all not confusing. If you cut it like this, horizontally, you get circle, 
right? So if you cut it like that, you would get a circle. If you cut it like this, you would get an ellipse, okay? If you cut it in a way where you're not touching the other side, like this, I believe, you get uh, uh, you get hyperbole. This is called they took conics out of my edu out of grade twelve in my part of the world, which I was really pissed about. By the way, there used to be a section fifteen years ago that I was teaching in my part of the world high school that it was all dedicated to conics, and they took it out. <laughs> like. Uh, horrendous oh this is a parabola okay so this is a parabola right so this one we get a parabola and the or is it this one vertically we get a parabola that one is a parabola sure and then if you cut it like this you get a hyperbole is these guys like where they're tangent uh what do you call it they're, they get they have the limits that would be ellipse cut in half. That's the ellipse cut in half. Okay, ellipse cut in half. Sorry if I don't know this. This fifteen years ago, I'm going back by memory, right? Conics. Conics is super cool. Super cool, by the way. Okay. So take a look at this. If you're going to solve this using substitution, you're basically trying to find out when these two lines cross each other, right? You can do this here. Graphing this one's easy. One, two, three, four, up three, over one. Right? This one you rewrite it in terms of y. You get negative four y is equal to negative two x plus five divided by negative four y is equal to one over two x minus five over four, right? Five negative five over negative five over four is negative one and a quarter. And then you go up one over two. Right? So they cross here. Well, visually we know what it looks like now we graph them so let's do it algebraically if we don't get in this range we know we did something wrong and the way you can get into this range is realize at this point this x is equal to that x and that y is equal to that y so all you can do say is at this point this y equals that y and this y equals this so I'm going to take this and sub it into there because this y is equal to that y which is equal to that y right so da -da 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 -da, right so you just sub that into here. So you're gonna get two x minus four bracket, three x minus four is equal to five, two x minus 12 x plus 16 is equal to five. This is negative 10 x, bring it over, minus 16 is equal to negative 11, divide by negative 10. So x is equal to 11 over 10. Did we do that correctly? I might've done it way too fast, because that doesn't look like one and one tenth but my graph is not to scale so it might be right so negative 12 16 negative 10 negative 11 yep that's correct right a hyperbole is when you when you have two cones and you cut such that they uh, create two pieces okay thanks mask of raven i wish they never took it out i loved that section it was amazing, right? Centralized education dumbing us all down. It's wrong, sadly. Logic bed, right? So now what we can do is set x equal to 11 over 10 and find the y associated with it, right? So y is equal to, and then you substitute this either into this or that, right? If you wanna make sure you did it right, substitute it into both of them if you get the same y, you know basically 99.99999999% per, that you did it correctly. You didn't proofread that before stream. Start from the beginning. <laughs> Sorry. Conic section is used in perspective drawing. From beginning, you should restart the stream. It'll be up once we're done, right? Or you can wait until the next example. That's the beauty of mathematics. You don't have to learn it all from the beginning, right? You can jump in anywhere you want. Doop. Three times 11 over 10 minus four. 33 over 10 minus four. Common denominator is 10. So that's gonna be four, uh, four, 33 minus 
40. Wow, wow, wow. So our graph is like wrong. Why is our graph wrong? So we've we've made a mistake somewhere, maybe. Logic bad. I'm gonna time you out. Time out. You're being a bad boy. <laughs> Logic bad. Boop. Hey, what happened? Unauthorized command. Time. Out. Logic. Oh, someone did Spider Man right on. Boop. Dude, don't take over chat. Yeah, we took care of him. That's why I keep on scanning the chat, by the way. Sorry, I got a nice Spider Man. <laughs> That's one, one bad guy <laughs> all tied up, hanging from a post with a sign on him. Your friendly neighborhood Spider Man took care of the business, right? <laughs> I was preoccupied. No worries, Kovio. Conic geometry is used a bunch in remote sensing too. I had a grad professor who developed remote sensing stuff for the Mars rover. Really, really neat stuff. That's super cool. That's super cool. Um, okay, what did I do here? Did I make a mistake here with the calculations? Four. Anyway, we're getting negative uh seven over four which gives us a negative y but we're in the positive so either my graph is way off or we did something wrong we could double check it so right now we've got a solution of 11 over 10 and negative seven over four right So what we can do, oh, I know what I did because I put it here. This guy should have been here going up over one, right? So definitely, I think this is going to be correct. So it's not this line because I just went to the quarter. I went to the wrong side. So it would be here. There's our line, not this guy, right? Well, we can confirm it. Sub 11 over 10 here. Okay, let's do that. We could just do it here, but let's do it from the beginning that way. It works. Sub 11 over 10, two times 11 over 10 minus four y is equal to five. 22, no, actually not 22. Reduce before you multiply five. So 11 over five minus four y is equal to five. Multiply everything by five. 11 is e minus 20 y is equal to 25. Bring the 11 over, minus 11, negative 20y is equal to negative 14. Is that correct? 25, 10, 40, 20, bring it over, 11, 24, oh, 24, 11. No, it is 11. So it's 24 and then divide by 20. So y is equal to, um, well, we got something wrong. Two goes into this 12 times, two goes into that 10 times. So this becomes six over five. So we've made a mistake somewhere, that's for sure. Because our two y's don't agree, right? That's what happens when you go Speedy Gonzalez. It's not 24, it's 14 over 20. Oh, it's 14. That's right. My bad. Look at this. 14. 14. 14. And 2 goes into that 7 times. And that's a 5, which is... Yep. 7, 14, 2, 4, 5. We're still off a little bit. Sorry. It's fun, though. Right? Looks too complicated for me right now. Beans, how you doing? I'm going through this crazy speedy ones out of style, making mistakes in the process, right? Speedy, uh, talking uh, speedy, right? The slope of three should be steeper. Yeah, it should be steeper. My mistake. <laughs> I'm not the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the most precise. Uh, I make, I have brain farts when I'm doing a lot of mathematics. It's fun though, it's fun though. Should we do this one? We'll go slow with this one. Okay. The 
challenge would be to find out where I made the mistake. Uh, the mistakes are fun. They make play, uh, paying attention more challenging. They do, right? Okay, let's do this guy. So we want to find the minimum values of this, I believe. The minimum values of this. Okay. So what's the first thing we should do? The first thing we should do is try to factor this thing, I think. Mask of Raymond, what's your recommendation? First thing, try to factor, or should we graph it first? We could graph it. Could we graph it? Oh, I don't know if I could graph it right now. I never understood trigonometry, but I always wanted to. I honestly uh, would replace cos squared with x. It looks nicer. It does, right? So what you could do is do a let statement, right? As uh, VC says, right? So we could say let cos. Yeah, yeah. Let's call it cos x equal w because we already got an x, right? Uh, and if you want where it uh, achieves those minimum values and where it achieves those minimum values, which is what X is when the minimum occurs, right? So let's do this first. So basically what we're saying is let cos X equal W. So F of X is equal to nine W squared minus 12. Oh, sorry, W to the power of four minus 12 W squared plus seven, right? Oh, you're welcome, money man. I hope it helps. Sorry about the mistakes, by the way. My apologies about the mistakes, but <laughs> it's it is what it is. It's a mis mistakeful day today, right? So we could use factors using the quadratic formula, or we could try to use the four-step method. Method, right? It do it does. Okay, good. Uh, a Corona day. It's a Corona day right so complex trinomial factoring we'll try it out right i would use would you mask of raven okay let's do it so let's do it this way instead of saying w equals this we're going to say w equals cos squared so now we got oh i changed the square geez this would have been if this wasn't square this should have been four right but we don't want to the power of four. We could say W is equal to cos squared. All of a sudden this becomes cos squared and that becomes just, or W squared and that becomes W, right? Makes it easier. Doesn't W squared combine first? I don't think you can use quadratic formula. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, we could do it. I, I made a mistake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what we could do is take this, multiply by this, right? Let's see if this is gonna work. So we got w squared minus 12w plus 63. Two numbers that multiply to give you 63 and add to give you negative 12, right? They have to be, if they multiply to give you positive, they're either both positive or both negative. They add to give you negative, so they're both negative, right? Two numbers that are negative to multiply to give you 63. I can't think of anything. I don't, no, I don't think it is either right not not simply in in terms of integers right so that doesn't work so we're going to use the quadratic formula Nine. quadratic formula quadratic formula x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a negative b is negative 12 so it's 12 plus or minus square root of b squared is 144 minus 4 times 9 times seven this number is going to be bigger than this number so it's not factorable right two times nine right four times nine 36 36 times seven 36 times seven uh 42 2 4 21 25 so right now we've got 12 plus or minus square root of 144 minus 252 over 18 12 plus or minus square root negative number okay let's do it i would just say negative but let's do it 252 minus 144 doop, doop, doop. 8 0 1 so negative 108 over 18 that's a negative number 
you can't take the root of a negative number it's a complex number so there are what does this mean there are no x-intercepts so the function is above the x-axis and it's channels right I'm assuming it's gonna be channels or there okay are above the x-axis yay complex plane End up in in, in, we are in imagined territory whoever assigned this problem likes torturing their students and their and their tutors <laughs> I can imagine what the root might be no. you said 42 not 49 well while back did I yeah I know I say the wrong word too sorry uh, I signed it to myself you signed it to so so we can't factor this so let's take this down okay and that's what happens with mathematics you try to go down a certain route you get it wrong you can't do it you progress so mask of Raven how do we end up doing this we're trying to find the minimum values that means when f of x y is the lowest point right complete the square okay let's do it heading to buy it now chicho always tortures people <laughs> to this. no worries on it check this out so we're going to complete the square to this let's complete the square because this is a quadratic equation right so completing the square and if you do chicho completing the square there's going to be at least two three four videos of completing the square that we have up that you can we go through how to complete the square okay yeah we could have checked the discriminant first before uh what do you call it here let me show you what i got apple and peanut butter i'm going speedy gonzalez right now so i don't feel like munching on anything All right apple and peanut butter is fantastic and i got some of those chocolates we went and bought some more those chocolate end pieces delicious rambo how's it going watched any movies recently did you watch bloodshot healthy too healthy too peanut butter and apples amazing All right so completing the square put brackets around these guys take the nine out so this becomes w squared you got to compensate for the 12 so you divide it by 9 12 divided by 9 3 goes into both of them so it's 4 over 3 w plus 7 okay completing oh thank you spider-man you rock right that's at least one of them right so basically you're thinking about your you're thinking about this if you take the 9 out the 9 is in front of the bracket so the nine would multiply everything inside the bracket that means to figure out what's here from there if you take the nine out you got to divide everything inside the bracket by nine okay so next step because if you multiply nine in you're going to get nine w squared net minus 12 w right now what you got to do is take this guy divided by two it's just a process it's an algorithm right so negative four over three divided by two is the same thing as multiply by half two kills this down to two so this is negative two over three take this guy and square it you get four over nine and again this is just an algorithm a technique to be able to graph a quadratic function where you're being able to find the minimum or maximum value depending if the thing opens up or down right so we got this guy now what you do the algorithm tells us take this guy add and subtract it in there 9 w squared minus 4 over 3 w plus 4 over 9 minus 4 over 9 plus 7. the reason we're adding and subtracting this number in there because we can't just arbitrarily add a number into a function because it changes the function the only number we can add into a function without changing that function is zero so 4 over 9 minus 4 over 9 is 0 so we're choosing what the 0 looks like we're manipulating the equation right and the reason we're doing this is because we want to be able to complete the square which means we want to create a perfect square out of this thing okay and we have to compensate for what we need to do to it 
straw on the board right now. Is this a code for a nuclear? No, just a quadratic formula, right? Or not the quadratic formula, completing the square, graphing the quadratic, right? So what you ask yourself is this. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab this guy and take it out of the bracket. We don't need the negative one in there. Now, keep this in mind. When you take out of this bracket, take this out of the bracket, whatever's in front of the bracket is standing guard. Okay. And anything that comes out of the bracket has to multiply this. So it's going to be negative four over nine times nine, which just becomes negative four. Simple as that, right? The other thing you're asking yourself is you're trying to factor this guy. We tried to factor it here, but we couldn't factor it. It didn't factor properly. Okay. So you want to factor this guy. You're asking yourself, what are two numbers that multiply to give you four over nine and add to give you negative four over three? You don't even have to think about it, right? It's this guy. That's the reason we circle this. This number that you divided by two is if you multiply this times this you get this if you add this time plus this you get this right so when you do this component square circle this and circle this because you're going to use both of those numbers okay both of those numbers so this guy becomes nine two numbers are multiplied to give you nine over four and add to give you negative four over three sorry four over nine and now to give you negative four over three is this so this becomes x minus two over three times x minus two over three but that's just that squared plus three nice we found our quadratic graph theory theo i'm not sure what you mean by graph theory i don't um what do you call it what does it exactly mean with graph theory I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with names. I might not be able to do. If it's high school mathematics, I could do, right? So over here, what we have, what this is telling you is, <laughs> so what's, what's this telling you is, this is the vertex of this parabola. Okay, irrelevant of what this guy is, right? Because we reconfigured this guy to represent the parabola. Graph theory is, definitely not high school yeah I don't think it is either there's you need to know some of the graphing stuff before you get into high school right? before you get into graph theory but graph theory is that sorting searching algo uh, algo is it I have a question of a uh, uh, fate the, the veer I have read about would like to know your opinion I don't know what uh, fate the veer is uh, crazy bow happened it is called combitorics and informatics sorry oh combitorics i'm not very good at can we do a graph that tracks the exponential growth of coronavirus in new york city uh sleepy waves we can do in uh our coronavirus uh live stream we're gonna do next sunday i think when are we doing it we're doing it April 1st we're gonna do April 1st right so if you if you send me the info uh, like by that time we'll have more data New York is just reporting slowly right so if during this week and next few days uh, post a link to where they're tracking that information and we can definitely do it okay uh, let me finish off this guy so basically what we have here is a parabola that opens up so if it's a parabola that opens up its vertex is going to be at neg at positive 2 over 3 and 3 so 2 over 3 here's 1 here's 2 so 2 over 3 is 0.6666 and 1 2 3 here and based on this it opens up now, I'm not sure how this guy is completely going to look, but that's going to be the minimum value. Right? And the y intercept, wait a second, y intercept is 7. Oh, yeah, because this thing's power exponential. It's way up there. This would be 7, by the way. So that guy would be the y intercept. Right? So the minimum value is 3. And it occurs at when uh, 
X or oh, ooh, look at this. Look at this. What a mistake. This is W. Okay. When W is two over three, right? But we wanted to find out what X was, right? So we want to find out what X is. So what we can do is go two over three. Wait, did we miss? Did I make a mistake? Uh, how do you know it's a parabola that opens up and not opens down? You didn't expect it opens up because the nine, the number in the coefficient in front of W squared is positive. If this was negative, it would open down, right? That's good for you. Point six is a number of Booker. <laughs> so this math the numbers were the minimum value is three, not mine minus three. Oh my god, I hope look at this. What a mistake. Brain farts, brain farts. Three. Who did who told me that? Theo, thank you very much for that. Seriously, I'm brain farty today. Okay, so I'm gonna make mistakes. So it's one, two, and three. One, two, three, right? Oh my, oh my. That's why this thing is a seven, two. Right? This guy goes like this. So here's seven. Right? This point here is two over three and three. Thank you, Theo. Very much appreciate it, right? Uh so and the leading coefficient is negative or positive. Uh, random subjects, you know, it seems the island where over one million king penguins. Uh, oh, crazy Bo Athens. I can't even change gears to think that way right now. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, you have to change gears to start thinking in a certain way, right? Let me w to zero to one, right? So w to zero. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna we found w w is equal to two over three. It occurs when w is equal to two over three, and the minimum value is three, right? But we also want to find out what x is when the minimum value occurs. Okay. Well, you found the minimum of three, so you're done as far as my original question. But you also said find the x when the three occurs right so the x when the three occurs we have to find out what x is so let's go back and find out what x is when we find when the minimum is occurring for the original function right so it's two over three let me erase all this let's go to here oh it looks so much cleaner right so we do that so we found the, so the solution to be two over three and three, but the three, two over three was w and f of x. We still have to find the x. So what you do is you plug in two over three for w. So cos squared x is equal to two over three. Now this means cos x times cos x. So you can just take the square root of this guy. Then you're gonna get cos x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 over 3 right so x is going to be cos inverse of plus or minus square root of 2 over 3 those are going to be your x values okay now if you want to um, no you just use a calculator for this you just use a calculator for this okay do they study algebraic structures in Canada? Not in high school. I wanted to ask something. Algebraic structures. Um, what again? Let me know what algebraic structures are. Not in not in high school. We don't use that term in high school. Should be outside the coast. Uh, no, they should be there. I think they should be there. Barry. I think a cos is an even function. I'm not sure. 
Not sure, not sure. Yeah, within the bounds. California Nights. Yeah, it's yeah, for sure it's within the bounds, right? Because two over three is less than one, right? Ah, uh, no, it does. It does do something. It tells you which quadrants you're in, right? So if you have this, so basically ask yourself here in trigonometry by the way we have a whole playlist of trigonometry which trig i love right uh if you do chicho trigonometry or go to our uh youtube channel there's a trigonometry playlist where we've we haven't done solved problems like this yet but we've done all the preliminary work for it okay we've done all the preliminary work for it so basically you can think about the cos axis cos as the x-axis so because cos is positive and negative cos is going to be positive here and here cos is going to be negative here and here so there's going to be four points that we're going to get solutions for there's going to be four x values uh, for this that's definitely good enough for the solution for sure mask of raven i think so but the value of x changes uh it depends on the quadrant not the value of the function cosine x but cos x uh cos x you can think of the x-axis as cos x and the y-axis as sine x if you want to a certain degree right uh and cos is going to be positive here and here because x is positive and it's going to be negative here and here because x is ne um x is negative okay No, oh, Speedy Gonzalez talking. I'm gonna pop an apple on a on a peanut butter. My hands are a little dry, erasy. Take a look. very delicious in general if a function is even its inverse cannot be in general if a function is even its inverse cannot be i think your calculation is wrong rambo mm, well, you don't hopefully you're checking rambo I tell all my students or whenever I'm teaching mathematics check I make mistakes right <laughs> please be civil yeah civil is good deal all right people can have fun people are just joking around I'm all good with that oh you're the even function thing so when you said uh, in general if a function is even its inverse cannot be that is not correct you're correct in that so a function if it's even it can still be even its inverse can still be even right and the inverse of a function is you're flipping the x and the y's right so you're doing this i'm going to erase those The conversation of the inverse of a function is this. Um, let's assume we have the following function. Y is equal to X plus one over X minus two, right? We'll forget about how, ah, no, let me give you a simpler one. That way we can do a graph of it too, right? Let's assume we had two X minus three. I don't know why I'm coming to this one, but I am. Huh? So if we graph this guy, is negative three one two three and then up to over one right here's this guy if you want to take the inverse of this function what you're really doing is you're flipping the x and the y so what you're doing is you're seeing what this function looks like if you use the use the y equals x line this is the line y equals x if you take this line and say this is a mirror what is what does this function look like if you flip it 
right? In a mirror, right? So what you're really doing is you're switching the X and the Y's. So what you do, the inverse of this function would be X is equal to two Y minus three, isolate Y. So X plus three is equal to two Y divided by two. Y is equal to a half X plus three over two. Three over two is one and a half. That's your Y intercept, one and a half, and then up one over two. All right. So this is the inverse of that and vice versa. And where they cross the mirror is they're the same point. Okay. So that's what the conversation is. So an even function would be something like this. F of X is equal to two X to the power of four plus two X minus one. It's even because the highest power is even. So an even function is inverse supposedly can still be even, right? Is that true? Even functions can have inverses is a better statement. Even functions can have inverses. This can't have an inverse? Really? What? Is that what we're talking about? Mask of ribbon? Are we referring to the same stuff? You can do whatever you want, uh, no Joyce Lynn. I'm assuming you're you are a responsible human being, right? And you probably live at home somewhere, <laughs> right? You can do what you want. Yeah, it's not a copy in Germany, and I'm looking at math course. What's wrong with me? You want knowledge? You're enjoying the stream. Da, da, da. Sign is even sign inverse exists. Okay. Ch -ch Chichu and others have made YouTube series to help learn basic algebra and math skills. I'd recommend checking them out. Here's our YouTube channel by the way. Uh, uh, can't have inverses over the original domain. Can't have inverses over the original. Can't have. Is that absolute? Can't have inverses over the original domain. And domain is the values of the x. For even functions, I'm assuming you're saying. You have to restrict it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you have... Let's assume, here, let's do a different color. So an even function would be something like this, right? So I'm gonna do this. Prone Slinky, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, you are the best, thanks. <laughs> so if you have an even function, like a quadratic function is even, right? So here's an even function. It's a parabola, right? If you flip this on the mirror, the graph is gonna look like this. So definitely their domain, what their possible X values can be, can, is not the same, right? Yeah, domain and range change, changes of the function and inverses, yeah. Basically the domain of the original one becomes the range of the inverse and the range of the original one becomes the domain of the inverse, right? It is just a function, it won't be numeric. Uh, you have to restrict the domain of a new function for it to have an inverse. In general, it does not. Okay. Yeah, domain and range change changes of the function of inverse. It's just a function, won't be numeric, like cos cos h. Fun. Interesting. The mathematics, uh, like I wish the math in my part of the world in high school knew was a little bit more challenging than what it is right now because it's making my math abilities decrease, which is unfortunate.
subscribe to the YouTube nice California knife oh yeah by the way gang uh, thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you to the mods for taking care of business sorry I haven't been paying attention to the follows and the subs and stuff like this just because I want to get as much math done as possible I know there's a lot of people that are missing the mathematics in times of pandemics right so it's always good to stay on top of the math it really is it's good for the brain right Oh my god serious question do the corona corona crisis uh i think the global economy will climb. <laughs> should i withdraw my money <laughs> uh, i've posted the con you know someone asked uh, in the economic economic section our discord page and we have a discord page where there's a lot of conversation taking place have enough cash handy so you can take care of your daily expenses for a month or two uh, it's not just about number of deaths which are predicted anyway it's the fact that the exponential rate of virus spread overwhelms countries medical system and by the way gang it's it's exactly what VC is saying what you want to do right now is don't overload the system right uh, the healthcare system because you're putting the lives of the healthcare professionals at risk when you overload the system okay social distancing is a good thing chill reduce your daily activities enjoy some books enjoy some live streams may they be math chicho related or someone else's streams playing video games just sit back relax take it easy there's a storm and you need to bunker down because if you're not putting your life at risk you're putting other people's lives at risk and if you're doing that you're at right so chill the up out and stay home if you can and stay away from people and uh, let the storm pass because you the last thing you want to do is stress out the healthcare system in your countries because once you do that there's going to be a lot of people being hurt okay including healthcare professionals i teach uh, blood blood acts i teach uh, high school mathematics uh, not in a centralized education system, but uh, in privately. Thank you very much for what you are doing uh, doing that quarantine. Ch -ch -ch. Yeah, if, if someone's quarantined themselves, for sure. Modern econo economies guarantee bank deposits up to a pretty high amount. Uh, so your bank will be fine unless you're... Uh, Rusta, I wouldn't put 100% faith in that system okay do you also teach classical physics i my degree is in uh, california nice my my degree is in geophysics so i do teach physics as well certain segments i'm better at than others like circuits and stuff i'm not very good at projectile motions is fine and dandy uh, i used to know my mag electromagnetic stuff way better than i do now i probably don't even know it now just because i haven't dealt with it for uh, much um forces momentum yeah some anyway we've done some physics on these live streams a horse is tied to a corner of a square field with side length one how much rope should you give the horse to let it reach exactly half the field oh let's check this out i still have to go to work oh no big chilling as usual i don't know what that is Except a bit of jaw. One what? Kilometer mask array in two part. Mask array isn't that calculus? Pro is it a calculus problem? One unit, whatever you want. So let's check this out. What's the problem? A horse is tied to the corner of a square field with side length one. Here's our horse. I need like my horse. <laughs> How much rope should you give the horse to let it reach exactly half the field? So half the field. What do you mean half the field? Half the area? 
or half the distance from each I'm assuming it would have it would have to be half area right that's what you mean is that true <laughs> amazing heart mask of Raven <laughs> thanks <laughs> sorry lungs won't show up in chat you can post on a discord yeah half the area yes half the area so half the area oh so how much rope we gotta give it to reach half the area how much rope do we have to give it to reach half the area half the area. i mean half the area would be this the problem is i mean you could do it this way this is half the area but that's not going to work because the rope is not going to reach here if it reaches here then it goes there so you can't do something like that so it has to be something like this let's try this out let's draw a diagram diagrams usually solve the solutions for us so it's going to be something like this right okay so one unit let's call this one one All right and what we're going to do is we're going to assume quarter of surface uh are the rope radius the surface area of the square hmm, yes wait i'm wrong there's root two so it's a circle of area two the radius is the rope Mm, is it i'm not sure because this area here has to be equal to this area and a plus a has to equal total area right area right so these two areas are the same so what's the area of the square total area area total is you know what instead of using one let's use five or something how do you find the circumference of a circle then take a square of it i have no idea why beans that auto mod grab that thing for everyone in chat the answer i got was square root of two over pi let's check it out let's check it out so total area ba, 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 ba. oh yeah i was going to change this let's make it uh I'm gonna make it five boop, boop. just because five uh, why circle because it has to be a rope right so it has to be a rope so it's gonna be like a radius like this right that's what it would be right to be half the area because it has to be pinned to one of the corners okay so total area is going to be five squared for the whole thing right so half the area a is going to be five squared is 25 right 25 so it's going to be 25 over 2 right so the area is 25 over 2 now what's the area of this because we're trying to find r the length of the rope right so what's the area of the circle if this thing went all the way around oops went all the way around well that's going to be a quarter of the area of the circle right so area circle is going to be this area let's assume is going to be pi r squared not 2 pi r pi r squared pi r squared over 4 right because it's a quarter of a circle right if we do this that's a quarter of a circle right so we want to find r and area c of the circle let's say quarter of the circle has to be equal to this so we can just set these two guys equal to each other right so this is going to be r squared is going to be 4 times 25 or let's do cross multiplication here we'll just do cross multiplication that way we're not multiplying pi 2 2 goes into 4 twice so that's going to be 50 r square is going to be 50 over pi and you take the square root so r is going to be square root of 50 over pi is that what you got mask root? something like that yeah over pi square root of 50 over pi so this thing is going to be 
square root of 50 over pi and square root of 50 is going to be uh, 5 root 2 because 50 square root of 50 is uh, 2 times 25 square root of 25 is 5 right so that's going to be 5 square root of 2 over pi right that's the radius so you have to make the length of the rope 5 square root of 2 over pi right does that work with you guys i hope that's clear and square root of 2 over pi so whatever your unit is times 2 square root of, so if this was 500 the length of the road would be 500 square root of 2 over pi right? fun question by the way thanks mask of raven that's a great question i like it <laughs> beans the auto mod is zapping your comments because <laughs> because you're spelling some of them wrong so it's thinking of some bad words what's the follow-up question to this mask of raven the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r circumference of a circle is 2 pi r r Newton rolled over in a in a coffin. Poor Newton. Is he eating apples uh, and peanut butter? Apple and peanut butter. Nice. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> with a with a chocolate on top. pandemic food the follow-up is this tie a horse with the same amount of rope to the other side of the field prove that the area they can both go is equal to the area they both can't reach Prove that the area they can both go, the area they can both go is equal to the area they both can't reach. Mm, okay, I'm gonna do this in red. So they prove that the area they can both go is equal to the area Oh, so you're saying this. So let's assume this is like, like this. So here's the other horse. <laughs> All right. So prove that the area they can both go is equal to the area they both can't go, which would be this and this. Is that correct? Mask of Ray? It's not that simple, sir. What if the length of the rope is greater than half of the square field? Length of the rope. It's okay for it to be. That's fine. I think. The apple and peanut butter is how you lure the horse to the middle of the field so he, he creates the radius. When when does he actually stream? I got to go, but I want to watch him again in the future. Uh, we got eight streams, uh, Theo, uh, listed. If you go to our Patreon page here, I'll bring this up. Here's our Patreon page, okay? And if you go to the post section, um, I list all the streams uh, that we're going to do in the post there. So I, I do announcements where I say our next four streams, our next two streams, our next, the last one I did is our next eight streams. This is the first one we're doing of a set of eight, right? So you can find it there. Our next stream is actually here. I'll give you guys the dates. 
we got the current events tomorrow at 8 30 p.m comic books monday at 8 30 p.m we got cooking live stream on thursday at 12 p.m we got uh, reading comic books on march 29th at 11 a.m we got reading comic books on march 30th at 2 p.m we got current events on march 3rd at 8 30 p.m and we got uh what do we got we got COVID 19 data we're going to look at uh, i guess this is a fourth live stream we're doing we're just keeping up with the data on april 1st wednesday at 8 30 p.m okay oh i was uh considering a rectangle in my mind in the last question oh okay oh let me take down the patreon thing but you um okay so this problem i cannot wait mask of raven i gotta find yes that's the question so this is the question okay cool so we gotta think about how we do this case man how you doing how's life peanut butter is amazing pandemic seriously it's amazing <laughs> so good i've never eaten so much peanut butter for so many days in a row it just feels great okay oh i was good da, 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 da. i cannot wait until comic books I think very soon I'm gonna start uh, cataloging all my books and stream it to some. So, oh, dude, Spider Man, that'd be fantastic. Cataloging, man, I lost track of what I got and where I got them so long ago. I'm really excited for your comic book streams. Nice, Spider Man. Hello, sir, Gaze Man. How are you, friend? Nice. So, let's do this problem. I wonder how we do it. I'm thinking about it right now. But I'm not 100% sure how we go about doing this. Let me erase, get rid of all the clutter here. Okay. So I'm going to erase all this. We don't need all this. Okay. So we got a question, follow up question. I'm doing well. Awesome case, man. Could you add a recalculated mortality rate given a five-day offset between reported cases and reported deaths yeah we could gina um if you could send me a reminder on discord or post it on discord in COVID 19 that way i'll create a column and uh, have the data available by the way the fatality rate has kicked up it's more than four percent now it based on the numbers we have right and that's the best we can do right now I don't want to go into a speculation of what's what okay but Gina for sure uh, how long before streams um, April 1st is our COVID-19 stream tomorrow we do we do a current event stream so if I have time I'll create the column today and then just punch in the calculations and have the data pop out so we can take a look at it right I have an inking you like the punisher punisher how is this uh, question true let's assume the length of each rope to be equal to the length of the square it negates the problem but what's the length of the square are we talking about this side or are we talking about a diagonal like what's the length of the square right uh, California Knight. it's my favorite character punisher the length of each rope is exactly enough to let the horse access half the area of the field yeah so if this was we just did the previous calculation for this right so if this was one right or one unit then the length of the rope r right we're calling it r because it's a circle was uh, square root of two over pi right that's what we have right now so we're saying this what's the link oh i should use a red what's the length of this rope have to be for this horsey to go like this and the area here is going to be area equal to what they can't reach we'll do okay thanks gina appreciate it okay which is about 0 0.79 <laughs> is that what it is so let's check it out so saying it's got to be 0.79 if this is a one 
So how do we do this? How do we do this? So we got to do it with areas again. Um, hmm, how do we do this? The area that can both reach. And this is a way more complicated problem, Mask of Raven. No? How do we do this? So this, this link is square root of two over pi. If our lengths are one, how do you negate the overlap? We're not negating it. We're trying to calculate it. Gina, we're trying to figure out what this overlap is, right? Because the question was, what is the area of this? Oh, wait a second. It's not half anymore. Was it half? Uh, the question is not too bad. Purely logical. But uh, are we assuming this? The horse, each one is taking half again? Or are we going to fluctuate the radius? Oh, we're going to fluctuate it. No, I lost it for a second. So this isn't the radius we're going to have. We want the radius to be set in a way where the area that they both can reach is equal to the area they both can't reach. I think I presented that correctly. Is that true, Mask of Raven? Because this isn't the radius anymore. My bad. We're not going by this. We're trying to figure out, yes, both take half. Oh, yes, both take half. So if both take half, so if both are taking half, we want to find out what was the question again? We need to increase the radius. Wow. No, both can reach half and have the same length of rope. Okay. <coughs> yeah, sounds complicated to me too, Gina. So they can both reach half, so they both have the same amount of rope. So what's their overlap? Basically, that's what we want to figure out, right? How much area do they overlap? How much area do they overlap? Um, because each is going to eat half the grass of the overlap. As long as they're friendly. Sixteenth <laughs> of the total circle. <laughs> I feel I feel the same as dub. Oh if both takes half, then area they have is fixed. And area they do not have is also fixed. Nothing to prove here. Don't try to calculate the actual don't try to calculate the actual area. Okay. Just figure out why the overlap is equal to, to the both can't reach it. So why, why is this and this equal to this, this area, right? So if we erase these, let's put letters in here. So if we call this C, and I'm assuming both of these would be the same, A and B, but A and B would be the same, right? They would have to be, right? So let's call this, here, what's easier to convert, A. So A plus A, so 2A has to equal C. 2A has to equal C. I think I would need help with this one. I don't know how to do this one. It's not coming to me anyway. Uh, the diagonal, you would have to calculate the diagonal, right? Do we calculate the diagonal? Yes, they are A equals A. Yeah, for sure. 
Uh, don't think algebraically at all. Don't think, oh man, my natural instinct is to think algebraically. I'm not sure how to think about this without algebraically. I'm, I'm still thinking algebraically, right? I'm thinking, oh, the length of the diagonal, we can figure out what the length of the diagonal is and figure out what that length is there and what that length is there. And then we can get those points and do the calculation that way. I respectfully disagree, but I'm, un I'm unable to prove provide an alternative yeah i don't know how to do this i'm with gina don't think algebraically so how could you not think about this algebraically geometrically how would you think about this geometrically how would you think about this geometrically what was this number equal to i'm gonna punch that in I'm gonna figure out what two, clear, 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 two divided by, where's my pi? Pi equals, and I'm gonna take the square root of it. To, to the power of 0.5. So it's 0 0.799, 7, 0.7979. So this length is equal to, 0 0.7979 that's just so all right so that distance is 0.79 that distance is points i don't know how to think about this without algebraically and i don't know how to do it algebraically i'm just not sure you can assume 2a equals c mm. but i think are we forcing it can we force it for sure you could uh, yeah you know what if it's half then how do we know that 2a equals c i'm assuming it would be it would have to be set up in a way oops where this area equals this area this and this right but does that necessarily mean that half of it is it halfway if you would have to figure out the what the length of that has to be for those two this to equal that and that to me sounds very complicated so it's not a question of finding these areas it's a question of finding the radius finding the length of the rope no Chicho, okay, actually think about adding the total areas and smaller areas together. Adding the total areas. So the total areas, what were the total areas? That's the radius. So the, so the area for each one is going to be, uh, area is pi r squared divided by 4, right? And R is that guy, so it's going to be uh, pi two over root two over pi squared is just going to, squared is just going to be two over pi over four, right? So it's a half. No, which which doesn't make sense. Of course, it's got to be a half. <laughs> no clue but don't focus on that uh of course it's gonna be half because we want it to be half one times one is a half so that's a half right uh total equals one horse one equals a half horse two equals a half yeah you know the area of the circles and the area of the square the area of the square is one yes it involves sector of the circle and intense calculation i have no clue but don't focus on that <laughs> <laughs> true it's still half it's still half right i have to do a calculation to be that's that's the way i am like i have to do a calculation oh and then it becomes obvious just draw one of the circle quadrants and the square and a diagonal to the square intersecting the quadrant of the square <laughs> circle what i'm going to go for a walk see you all later always be making enjoy your walk my explanation is that the that since they both add to one and they have overlap there must be non overlap equal to that there must be non overlap 
equal to that, there must be none overlap equal to that. Hmm. It doesn't make sense to me. Just came back in. What's the basic premise of this problem? The basic premise, Bob, is this. We have a horse tied to a corner and we figured out what the length of the radius has to be for the horse to have access to, let's say, a one by one square to half the grass in the field, right? So we calculated that. We said the radius has to be square root of two over pi. Now the secondary question is this. If you have another horse on the other side, opposite corner, kitty corner from this corner, and that horse also has a radius, a rope radius of square root of two over pi, which consumes half the grass here, then what is, I lose the question again, but I guess what's the area of the overlap where they both have access to the same grass where the that area is equivalent to the area of the region that they don't have access to so this area equaling this plus that 2a they don't have access to this and they have access to this area i'm pretty sure you could use calculus to solve this problem i think it is a calculus problem if i'm but my calculus is not powerful enough to do this <coughs> r equals one how come they both add to one how come they both add to one uh, because our we set up our corner square to be one i can calculate each area of the portion you have drawn yeah and but too lazy to get my notepad could you use calculus yeah uh, perfectly negates the overlap r equals one negates the overlap about that think about it in terms of sets the area of a union b equals the area of a plus the area of b minus area of overlap it can't be annoying but yeah the area of b union area of a union b so this area okay has to be equal to area A plus area B minus area overlap. Oh, no, 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 no. Total area of A plus total area of B has to be equal to area. What do you mean by union? Union, are we? masculine if you're talking union are you saying union i'm reading it like this but the way you're you've written it area overlap overlap is that so union would be the total areas or union would be area this and area this just go corner to corner you'd be knowing but yeah how come is it a calculus problem if we are taking an element we do an integration and it varies the limit to whatever doesn't prove anything i might write something up on this and post it in discord later i don't want to hijack the stream no it's okay mask of ribbon i mean it's a good i personally don't i don't see it it's not making sense to me uh, I love it to make sense. So if you do a write-up on it and post it on our Discord, that'd be fantastic. That'd be great, actually. The area of the overlap doesn't matter. Each gets half in any case. Yeah, for sure. But the question is, what's the areas here? How much don't they get? I mean, we could figure that out just by using the radius, right? But this becomes tricky because these are curves, right? So it's difficult to calculate the areas. How did you get our... Uh, we got it by... Um, we did it earlier. We did it earlier. Well done. Oh, we've definitely gone over two hours, eh? <laughs> we got lost in the problem. <laughs> well, we should call the stream, yeah? 
let's call this stream game uh, it's it's a great problem i guess we've continued this on our discord if mask of raven could uh, let us know what the solution is can you please ex ex explain the question i am new sure war robo so what we did initially that's why i keep on coming back to r equals one this was very comforting uh, to me during these challenging times good stuff Hannah I really think I could solve this one so here's here's the problem right oh there's something I think I'll write it down. you're gonna write it down and try it? okay so here's the problem we have a horse tied here right and we've made the length of the radius of the rope that the horse is tied to enough so the horse can consume half the grass in a square field right and we figured out that the radius had to be square root of two over pi for the for the horse to be able to eat half the field, the grass in the field. And then we said, let's tie up another horse, kitty corner to this guy over here, okay? And set the radius to be the same. The Set the rope on the horse to be the same so this horse, the red horse, can also eat half of the grass in the field. The question is this what's the area i'm saying what's the area because that's the way i'm thinking about what's the area that they overlap where the overlap area where they can both eat the grass is the same as the areas that they can't eat the grass right if we set it up so this horse can eat half the grass and this horse can eat half the grass is are these two areas this plus this equal to the area over the overlap can you prove that basically that's the way I'm seeing it. Let's solve this one and then call this a stream. And the problem is we don't know how to solve it. I don't know how to solve it. Everyone, I'll post something in Discord later. Hopefully, I'll explain it nicely. Awesome, Mask of Raven. Awesome. Because I don't know. Like right now, my brain is now mush. There's no way I would find it. It, well, interest, it is an interesting problem. Yeah. Draw it as R equals 1. It will make sense so forget about this just say r equals one okay we do maybe on discord see how it goes second horse on top uh of vertex right um uh, yeah here that's right right so they're both tied on the corners right and they're coming out and they're eating the grass and they overlap in this area right coolio we're about to call the stream I gotta so you got a switch <laughs> coolio <laughs> nice <laughs> nice job of square and one of the quadrants first congrats congrats let's call the stream gang california knights we got right um so if you can make it we're doing a stream tomorrow night 8 30 p.m current events we're doing a stream monday 8 30 p.m comic books we're doing a stream thursday 12 p.m cooking live streams in the kitchen we're doing comic books on next sunday and next monday at 11 and 2 we're doing current events next tuesday march 31st at 8 30 p.m and on april 1st we look at an updated version of our data for covid 19 and if there's anything you want us to look at uh, go to our discord post it I'll, I'll try to create columns where we can take a look at the data everyone just remember to find the actual area of the overlap isn't the question it might be really hard just try to find why the overlap is equal to the air to the area neither can reach i think this problem is pretty deceiving deceive me that's for sure amazing stream awesome spider-man glad you loved glad you liked uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And if you can make it, we're on we're on tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Okay. I hope uh, you guys enjoy your lockdowns if you can. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone. Spider-Man uh, and, uh, <laughs> and the mods. I forget who the mods are here now. Uh, thank you for taking care of business. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows and this is our patreon page this is our where we're doing a twitch live stream 
and we're announcing everything on Twitter, okay, and Minds and Gab and Elo and BK, okay. And links will be provided in the description of this video once this video is loaded on BitChute and YouTube for now. Okay. Bye everyone. Hope you have a fantastic day.